Hey guys, I'm Callie Lewis. Today on Geek Beat, I am super, super excited to show you our finished out, brand new Interlogic security access system. Hey, uh. This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by Linda.com. John P, you didn't know you needed a badge, right? Yeah, nobody gave me a badge yet. But look who's here, Todd's Yay, here. Todd. Hey Todd, how are you? I'm great, how are you guys? We're Finally good. got in, huh? <laughs> no thanks to you. I had to give you a fob or a card, yeah. I would assume, huh? Hey, I know how to bribe. <laughs> That's right. Well, you guys, uh, you may remember Todd, uh, Todd Pacey yes, Electrical. Yes, PaceyElectrical.com. And uh, he's been helping us with all of our cool uh, electronic systems around here at the Geek House. Yeah, we got True Portal Interlogics uh, Access Control, and also the uh, True Vision Interlogics Vision are the cameras, IP That's cameras right. that we're installing now. Too. We're going to show you guys all that stuff, but let's walk this way because yes. uh, we can kind of demo it well, as we go. It's beautiful. I I look down this hallway and I see all of these badge access controls, and I'm like, yes. Yes, we have all the little card readers. So what we've done is everybody's office has a little. LED swipeable card reader. Ooh, and look, I have I have access to everything. She's got the master. The door's already open. Yeah, that the, worked. The good. The door is already I, open. I, I don't care. Uh, so you, okay, so, so <laughs> power's gone to her head a little bit. Uh, but Todd's been here and uh, he's got one of his guys, Mark. Mar yeah, Where's Mark, Mark is awesome. He's uh, guy put up more cameras. Oh, is he? Yeah, I thought maybe he was in the ceiling. There's been an awful lot of drilling. There uh, has a place. lot of noise. Because we have inside cameras that are going up, but we also got the ones outside, so we have to drill to get stuff outside. We have 16 cameras going in. <laughs> That's right insane. 16. At the moment, and we're talking about maybe adding more. Adding more. What are we doing, trying to start a, like, uh, make a Guinness World Record it's for? Be like a Big Brother house. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. Yeah, you're going to be living under a camera at all times. Oh, wait, uh, uh, well, uh, I think, I think we forget. already do. Yeah, we already have 10 drop cams in here. Yeah, you're going to have Maybe 16 we, plus. We might, we might end up with like 30 for, cameras. For an 8,500 square foot building, no one actually needs this <laughs> yeah. many it's not cameras. About need. But <laughs> you'll be documented with everything you do. That's right. <laughs> okay. Let's go check out well, the. Well, let's talk uh, about. Hang on. Let's talk about some of the cool things that we can do with the access control system. I know a lot of people uh, who go to work in commercial environments have badges and they have to badge in, but I don't think I didn't really realize what all you could do with them before. Right. This we system is insane. This one, right? There's a lot that goes into it. There's an awful lot that goes into it, but it also has documentation and it actually records all the events. So everything that each individual employee or custodial staff, whoever you issue cards to, are all kept track. So there is access and access control by day, by time, and... It, we'll talk about that. Is it integrates into the IP cameras? Yeah, that's cool. In fact, let's you hear that, Dave. Let's Behind come the in. camera. You hear how much uh, control we have? <laughs> let's come in my office. I've actually got uh, the. We've got the interface. Let's get the lights on here. Here we go. I felt like Will Rob. No danger, ah. Will Rob. Okay, <laughs> we've actually got a couple of things. Oops, that's a preview. You can't see that yet. Here we go. <laughs> so we've got. Hey, that's um, me. That is you. We've got you in there. So this is kind of a, the back end on the True Portal system. Um, now that's our badge access control. The access control system. system. And those are all the individual people that you've added to the system and each one has a fob and a, and a, and a fob. Now a fob or a card is really the same but it's an electronic key. There's so you Dave. You can't, even, you can't even change or copy electronic keys. So if you lose it the system can pull it out or you can add a diff uh, different or, credentials for different people. Like for me, because uh, maybe I have two, I have uh, two different keychains. I, I carry two keychains, so I want a fob on each one. So it says I have two credentials here. That's correct. So you have both of them. And so you can know which car I'm driving based on which keychain uh, fob <laughs> I badged in with. <laughs> Wait, I want I want three now. Can I have three? You can have three. Can I have, <laughs> can I have seven? I think you can have up to one hundred. No, you can't I, have a hundred. I want a hundred. You can't just bathe in them, okay? <laughs> now, here's another cool thing. Uh, you mentioned that we would be able to see events and stuff, okay? So, uh, if we click on the events log here, uh, oh, well, it was showing one event somewhere down here where I badged into a door, and it's actually got my picture. 
Yep. That's pretty cool. So we can assign a picture to anybody who... Everybody in that's in their system, you can assign a picture so that if it was a security person that didn't know, you know, who it was, they can actually compare the video to the picture of the person for auditing purposes. Right. I mean, that's what this is all about is auditing, keeping track of when your employees come and go, custodial staff when they come and go. All that is is recorded in here. Those are the event log. That you're for looking. me, the funny thing is the reason I cared about the badge access control system is because I hate keys. Right. I like the idea of just having a little fob and getting in and out of the building and in and out of offices. But but you just addition, put your fobs on your keys. Well, that's true, but I can carry. I mean, it's you just now you want a the, third one just to put in your pocket. That's don't right. You? I want a fob for my car too. Anyway, let's show you how this works. So it's instantaneous. So we've got the access things going. Callie, would you please badge us and let's see what happens. I'm doing my best, Vanna White over here. Yeah. So there you go. Bang. So you see, uh, reader John P. That was my. That's the John P. Reader. My. She's not supposed to steal the <laughs> cards from other people. That was mm, okay. That was my actual door, but let's see. Uh, you yeah, see, see that it it's my me. door, but it's Callie who badged in. So that's so pretty you know, cool. Callie was in your office. That's right. You're not allowed in my office. Um. Somebody needs to. I think I'm going to add a third access. one to pretend that I'm John. Where's Man, the, this is getting complicated. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, that they've been missing for a while. Now okay. You know how. So mm -hmm. the other cool thing too is you can assign people. We talked about this. So our our cleaning crew comes in in the evenings and they come in on what Mondays and Thursdays. Correct. So what we can do is we can give them a badge, and we can restrict it. So they are only able to get in the building Mondays and Thursdays from this time to this time. Mondays and Thursdays, and then also you have uh, the time that they checked in, so you know when they were here. Right. And also, it will record when they leave out of the certain two doors because we have contacts on them as well. So right, so we can show... see when the door's open. Yeah. Actually, they another cool thing out, is... But we see that the door open, and we know the last time the right. door opened, basically. Right. What were you saying? Uh, another cool thing is, so... Let's say we want to set our hours, quote unquote, to be eight to five uh, every day, every Monday through Friday. Well, we're not we're an internet company. We don't keep hours. Right. So if I'm being lazy one morning and I don't come in right at eight, uh, if I come in at eight fifteen, the door up front won't unlock. It won't unlock until you badge in the back door, which is your employee entrance, and as soon as you do that, it will then open the front door so that people can come in for the public. That's smart. Yeah, that's cool. What's that called, like manager in first or something? Yeah, it's first in, uh, for manager. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty cool. And we can also do that with our offices. So for example, uh, if, we, if, if somebody goes into an office, you don't want the door to lock behind them because then other people can't come join them in their office, but but before they go in their office, you don't want people to get in. So you can set it so that when they badge in from then until, let's say, 6 p.m., let the door be open. As soon as you badge in for the day, you can set a time period that it's open for the day. Okay. And so it won't lock because you don't have to, otherwise you're going to keep locking yourself yeah, out of exactly. your office all day. Cool. Now, there's one other thing that I really like. And uh, actually, we're not seeing it here at this, at this second. But... Right down in the corner here of the screen, when somebody badges in, if we have the camera system set up to have a camera watching that particular mm -hmm. door, for example, our two exterior doors, um, it will capture a video of the person coming in as well. It will show the picture of the person on the left and then in that square on the right will show the actual, like a one minute video event of that actual person badging in and coming in the door. So then and don't you, do anything stupid while walking in the door. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or do something stupid because right. it'll be captured on video. It'd be awesome. <laughs> you know, that's the kind of thing that a very talented programmer could make happen. Exactly. And you could learn if you don't know already at lynda.com. Linda with a Y. That is true. They have all kinds of courses on web development, app development. 3D Everything animation, develop. business, so Photoshop. you can actually put it to use. Photoshop, all sorts of things. They have like a bazillion different could, courses that could, you can learn from. I could Photoshop some pictures of people coming in. Fake That's photos. True. I don't know. I'm not going to let him anywhere, but anyway. you can go to lynda.com slash geekbeat and get seven days for free. A whole week. <laughs> Do it. Let's go out and we're going to show out, you oh, the <laughs> cameras and the walls. Let's go. 
I can't see anything. It is very bright out here, but it's a nice day. And Mark's up there doing some work on the old camera system. So uh, as you guys can see, we've got cameras going up on the corner of the building yeah. here. This one is gonna be keeping an eye on our generator and basically the back of the building. Yeah, what, don't what show do that to too much like on camera. Grass? We haven't, we I haven't don't know. cleaned that up You've yet. never seen Come that before. Way. That's our generator That's back. That's because it hasn't. By the way, yeah, and, and we'll also be able to keep an eye on the neighbor, the Lord of the Rings. That is really the name of it. Uh, They're an Audi repair shop. Dealer. How Audi, awesome is I'm that? I'm sorry, not dealer. Audi uh, yeah, repair Look shop. Look up here. There's a finished camera. There's another one. Let's walk around the trailer. We've got another camera up there. And we have another camera right over here, and it's the big daddy one. That is a big daddy. This thing is awesome. This is a PTZ camera, and uh, you can see up there it will move around. It goes 360, right, Todd? Total 360, pan, tilt, zoom. So you can actually zoom in on license plates, zoom in on vehicles, zoom in on anything, and move it around. And you can preset things too, right? Preset for locations to do patrolling so it can actually sweep over the parking lot. Like you just have to keep going back and forth? Back keep forward. it going back and forth. And then and if there's super. motion. Then, uh, it's, then it's a situation where if you have one of those action movies, people want to uh, uh, time it so they see it and then they run in between when it's moving. Right, so and actually, it'll, and, it'll, and if it sees the motion, it can zoom in on that person. Oh, nice, so if it sees them at all, it just stops and zooms on them. Yep. Nice, okay. <laughs> well, that's not the only one, but actually I wanna show you guys how that one works. Let's go inside for a second because it's pretty awesome. And it's hot. It's not hot. It is a little hot out here. But also, we have these little inconspicuous baby cameras like up here. We do. I mean, it's, it looks tiny, but it's but, actually like full 1080p video kind of thing. So uh, let's go in here. I want to show you how this uh, PTZ works. Come on. <laughs> okay, so this is the interface for the True Vision system. Now, what's cool is you may recall a minute ago we were looking at the True camera. True Portal. Yeah, True Portal. So they're all, it's all web-based. We're just using an inter, uh, a web browser here, mm -hmm. and we can see everything. And as you can see on that one, uh, well, you can't really see it yet. <laughs> we have four cameras active. Yeah, there's four, and we have but like there's like a grid of 16. Yeah, 16? There's, yeah. I so, can't count. What are we shooting there? That looks Yeah, ridiculous. that's very important super secrets to actually, that's the inside of a rack. <laughs> Why you know, not? The 45 drives unit? Big racks get my data flowing. That's <laughs> nice, why. nice, John. <laughs> nice. Anywho. Um, <laughs> so, free plug. Yeah. so we were just taking a look outside of at the uh, actually, we 360. Just, we just actually watched oh, him yeah. install that one. That just came online. And uh, But yeah, this was the one I wanted to show you was the PTZ, pan, tilt, zoom one, just because it's fun. So I have opened that one in another tab here. And I just... It's like a video game, Todd. It really is. I don't know what the deal a is. A video game? Yeah, because check this out. You, I mean, you just sit here and you can like, you know, you can like zoom out and then you can like spin this thing around. And I mean, <laughs> look how fast <laughs> it is. If you keep doing that, it will make you throw up. <sighs> but uh, not only will it pan and it will tilt by going up and down, but it will also zoom and it has a 20x zoom on it. Check this out. John, you had a Coke in your hand earlier. No, not anymore. It's uh, right there. Oh. So we can zoom way in. I mean, How you can awesome basically, is that? Yeah. I thought I was the only one that drank those. <laughs> right. <laughs> Look at that. We can go full screen with it on the monitor. And I mean, you can see that is a Mountain Dew live wire. Nice. I can almost, I can see that it says 170 <laughs> calories, but I can't quite read that stuff right there. But that's that pretty is the impressive. Kind of quality. So when you have a security issue, you definitely want to get that much detail. Yeah. Yeah, and these new IP cameras are pushing 1080p, so the quality of the video is way better than analog. Yeah. So this is the latest generation of cameras, and it helps the install a lot easier and a lot easier to manage the cameras because it's all IP. You just connect everything with an Ethernet cable and push power over Ethernet to 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 the cameras and power over Ethernet and everything's from a web browser. So it makes yeah. ease of access for the customers, the end users, all of them have access to it. And there's different levels based on, you know, what cameras people can see. So not everything, if you want to see all 16 cameras, you can. If you want to see only 
half of them, you can do half. Yeah, awesome. that's cool. And, and, and it'll do. This one does motion tracking, right? Motion tracking, uh, PTZ, but also motion record. So when it sees motion in the middle of night, then it turns on and starts recording that event, and it actually will label that event as motion. So you can. So you're not filling up your hard drives later, yeah. uh, with with just useless so, nothing going on. So if we had this in the parking lot, say two months ago, <laughs> and when you know, our trailer all of a sudden, was a stolen, a trailer starts moving. This thing would have turned, looked at it, and recorded it. <laughs> recorded it and got everything, the whole event. Brilliant. Yeah. That's what's nice about it is when you go back to review an actual event, it actually shrinks down the video to the actual usable video of what the motion was. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Well, it'll do so much more. I mean, we've just kind of hit the oh, yeah. tip of the iceberg with the True Portal and the True Vision system. Uh, we're going to stop there for now, wait, let you digest. But wait, there is more oh, okay. coming. We're not going to talk about oh, it right now. Definitely but not. Yeah. what you should also know is we're going to be putting in a security system mm -hmm. that will completely integrate in. So when, you know, an event occurs, the cameras will capture it and all kinds of crazy stuff. And this system can even be made to integrate with a phone network. How so awesome is that? Like, for example, you could put a phone on the front porch yep. and... A door phone. So when people come and they press, you can actually answer and, and buzz them in. So you could see them on video, they could call, you can hit a button, buzz them in, and yeah. you're all good. Very cool. cool. Well, thank you so much, Todd Pacey from PaceyElectrical.com. And uh, you guys, leave comments below with your, with your questions, questions, your thoughts, uh, and we'll do follow-up videos for sure. That's right. Now, I've got to uh, fix this, so you what guys just get out. What do you mean, fix it? Just you, you're out. just going to be gonna, roaming, aren't you? I'm just going to fix it. So. Have fun, John. Does being a geek make me a fool? Well, so be it. I'm Callie Lewis. Welcome to Geek Beat. Ah! In prison are thinking, I'm not really in the mood for loving. So give me the ice cream. And we're going to but crawl a bit deeper into the Googleplex to dig up 16 Google gems you may not even know about.